Okay, so guys, uh, finally it's time to test this fully automatic auto feed solder station. You see? Desactivating. Right?
Okay, so guys, as you can see that although 60 watts bulb has been connected, so oh, let's test this bulb with the bicycle generator. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to make an arc welding machine with a microwave transformer. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to measure its RPM at uh, 12 volts. So the RPM at present is uh, around 10,000. Let's increase the voltage from there and see what happens. 17,000 RPM, reaching around 19,200 at uh, 31 volts. So guys, I've connected this propeller to the motor. Yeah, the thrust is really high. You can see that it is drawing around 0.5 amps at 22 volts. Yeah, the propeller RPM is increasing. 38 volts. Oh, it is flying. Oh, guys, <laughs> that's really cool. It is flying, actually flying. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> yeah, now let's increase the voltage. Oh, it is going to come back. Oh. 
so guys this is the magnet string that i ordered online there are so many small magnets remove a little string and stick it now sticking one magnet like this So guys for the driving motor I'm going to use uh, this one let's move them a little closer to you saw it automatically aligned according to the poles you can see that uh, the operation is completely soundless there is no sound at all and when I try to stop uh, this motor this one automatically stops and because the magnets have been locked connected so guys as you can see I am giving just 3.6 volts and here I am getting around 4.7 or 4.8 volts. So guys here as you can see that this setup is working pretty good. 8 volts more. Yeah, it's working pretty good it is generating around 9.4 uh, volts. So these wires have been connected now I have to give positive and negative supply and turn this variable resistance. So guys, although this motor is 24 volts rated, I'm going to run it with this 12 volts 7H UPS battery single piece. Let's start it slowly. You can see it is running and the magnetic locking is strong enough that even though I have connected the load, it is not getting disaligned this part. This what you see is an electric bike. So let's start it. 
positive has been given to positive now comes the negative as you can see it is working pretty good okay so guys this is the 24 volts 20 amperes dc motor that i'm planning on using for the air bike Yeah, 12 12.51 12.51 so Guys, I will show you the air throw first hi guys welcome back to my channel mr electron and in this video i'm going to teach you how to convert a dead car alternator into a permanent magnet generator so guys here what you see are uh, the five important parts of the alternator okay so guys as you can see that i have drilled holes on all the teeth of the rotor Attracting, attracting, repelling, repelling, attracting, attracting. Yeah, as you can see that it is going really smooth. This. Hi guys, today I'm going to make a DC motor operated electric air pump. Now guys, this is a 24 volts DC motor. You see? DC servo motor, 24 volts Japan, okay? These are the two wires. I am going to test run it with this battery. Yeah. you can see that i have given a cut now guys this is a power supply like this it has charged now and i will remove this you can see the spark you see
I think it's working now. Yeah, it is working. Let's try and pick it up. Whoa! So guys, as you can see that it is easily pulling up this 20 kg's weight. Yeah, the magnet is very strong. Uh. So guys, these are the old batteries extracted from the laptop batteries. So yeah, let's get on with it. So guys, here as you can see that the batteries have been welded to each other although uh, these two are separate. So I have to keep them steady and for that I'm going to use these uh, zip ties. So guys, the parallel connection of the batteries is also complete now. You can see I've given 4 on the positive and 4 on the negative for all the battery packs. So now I have to connect all of them together with the help of this balance charger circuit for lithium ion batteries. So guys, this what you see is a 2 meter long and a pretty good spacious heat shrink tube. Yeah, and this also done. So yes guys, all the wires have been connected. Blue terminal for positive, red positive and black for negative and again black for negative. Connecting it. And here you see that the voltage displayed on the screen is 12.12 volts, almost full. Pretty good. Yeah, we are getting pretty good. Super high current. <laughs> I can, I'm pretty sure that it can start a bike without any problem. Working really nice. And guys, now comes the time of testing this DC drone motor with this battery pack. Okay. Both are 12 volts. And the maximum current for this motor is 22 amperes. Okay, so guys, get ready. Oh. 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 Just taking my hands up. Pretty good thrust, I tell you.